welcome to today's video. Today is Friday, fun Friday. We are getting into the time when I'm about to see my horse. But it's not today. Today, we just got a package and we are not expecting anything. So we're gonna open it and see exactly what it is. It says today by day on it, which is odd because... We have peel. I feel like we didn't order anything. It's very light. Gabby got the, to do the honors. It's very, very filled with paper. The box and the tissue paper. Oh. There's, right. there's nothing in it? Oh. No, there's a box and the tissue paper. Oh, there's a box and the tissue paper. What's the game? What the heck is that? The up, oh, it's an upside down challenge. Down. Makes you see upside down? It's a, it's a game? It's, it's a, a challenge it's game? Like it's, it's bigger, it's like longer. <laughs> Let her look at you and see what looks longer. Wait, let me look at dad. <laughs> <laughs> that was so R-rated. Laura, I was just joking. I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> My child is scarred for life. I want to see if his belly looks longer. I want to see. Don't, don't. You look smaller because your head's are... Don't hate me, guys. Sometimes I get like a bad joke that just comes out of left oh my field. God, upside down. Oh my god, Ruby! <laughs> Ruby's upside down? I can't see my head. Oh, wait, there it is. That's <laughs> <laughs> your butt. Okay, let's hope you have a turn. Oh my god. What the heck? Is it, is it cool? Like, oh, I put her nose in my mouth. <laughs> Who put her nose in your mouth? I can't see Gabby! <laughs> Gabby left the room! We <laughs> 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 better when the goggles are on. Let's see if you guys can see through the goggles. Do you see Sophie there? <laughs> She's completely upside down. She doesn't look longer though. So someone sent us the upside down challenge game and it's got upside down goggles that go along with it. I am super excited. I can't wait to play this. This looks like a horsey upside down challenge to me. Who thinks riding our horses with the upside down goggles would be so fun? I wouldn't even be able to get on. Do you think it'd be a fun challenge to do with Kaylee? Yes. You think it'd be a fun challenge to do with Kaylee? All right. This you Sunday, doing? you guys, I'm going to try and rig it so that we can do the upside down challenge at tonight? our barn. Well. Thank you so much to whoever sent us the upside down challenge game. There's no card. Don't comment below if you have the upside down challenge game and what you've done with it. <laughs> Cap can't hack it. Stop! Okay, listen. Here, have a drink, Sophie. <laughs> oh, you can't have you a can't drink. See from, you can't see your stomach. You can't see from here down. Yeah. I can't put the Unless light on. Look, then you can see your feet. Oh my god, I almost fell down the stairs. <laughs> the stairs were five feet beside you. It felt like it. Stop <laughs> it, Wait, I can't see. Alright, oh, wait. Wait! Which way is the freaking coffee table? It's in front of you. Oh, because it looks like it's behind me. <laughs> How is that possible? Touch the coffee table, Gabby. <laughs> Wait, I can see it right here. But then, when I put my head down, it goes like freaking behind me. <clears throat> I do that. Like, I can't see it anymore. Oh, Molly! Come here! Molly! Come here! Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna prank my mom. Hey guys, um, I don't think they're gonna hatch because there's no babies and it's been three weeks. Mom, what do you say about the babies not hatching? So I think... I picked the mom up. I heard baby. You heard a baby? Yeah, there's a.
I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. Hey, baby. Even if this baby's not normal, we're gonna still love it and take care of it. Down. Is there any other? Let her go back in. Let her go back in. It looks like it just got. So we've been cleaning up around the barn. We're gonna disinfect and clean our water trough. Okay, so I am down in the barn. I'm packing up. I'm there, and Gabby's is on top of it. I am packing up some more stuff to take to the barn. We don't have lockers yet, but they're finding us a locker. Uh, or actually, they did find us a locker. They just have to get it cleaned out. Sophie's texting all of her friends. <laughs> We're so excited about the baby chick. She's so excited. Um, I have a list here of stuff that I want to take. I've got carrots in the car. I got. Scissors. I need more vet wrap. Our, yeah, a bunch of I need barn. vet wrap. We need more vet wrap. Yeah, we need more. Like, I need to make a run to the store. I've got some. Don't we need this stuff? Yeah, this stuff I really like. This gauze I wrapped around there. Gauze. Yeah, that's that's a couple. Might as well use it. Lots. Use it all. Um, I have these pads. Oh, I think this is vet wrap. Just smaller that is that wrap just smaller that's for tummy okay tummy. throw that in there so all everything that's in here are like just pads and alcohol swabs and stuff thanks to tough one we have like a year uh, never end sub never ending supply of this stuff i'll leave some of it here sometimes we use pads and i think i am going to put a pad on for the first couple of days because they're so thick that they'll help protect his wound i have more in here some pink vet wrap i might actually fill one of these containers up with all the stuff I have more pads. I have some smaller ones that might even do better because of the spot where it is. That might even be more comfortable for him. So we'll take a bunch of these. So he's gonna pack it up there for me. Pads. Just found some more vet wrap. Vet wrap is what we're actually gonna be the least filled up on. Another thing I need to find is another hoof boot. Even if they're mismatched, Chino needs them. I'm terrified to go and see if uh, we have lost a shoe. Um, I'm gonna end up having to buy more, I can already tell. I'll wash this one. So the weird thing is, is that Sophie took all her vet wrap and separated it from ours and put it over here. And I don't actually know where it is. Technically, I would really like to clean our tack room today because my new horse might be coming home with me tomorrow. Might be coming home with me tomorrow. Um, and I wanted to have be set up. Unfortunately, uh, we're gonna be spending most of the day away we're going to be going to the barn taking care of the horses just like taking them out of the field you guys saw yesterday how happy they were to see us give them a little break from the other horses sophie here's your pad it's dried That's not oh it's mostly dried gabby left her boots out here these little mew boots that she wanted to take to the barn and they got soaked again i'm gonna bring all this up to the house and hang it out to dry Careful where your hands are going, sister. Careful. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Hello, pony, what happened? You got hay in your hair. Oh my goodness, where were you? In the back? She's like, you haven't been here all day with me? Uh, we still are loving on our ponies. <laughs> She's a little nervous of Sophie. <laughs> upside down glasses on. We should put upside down glasses on the ponies. Just joking, that's a dangerous thing. Don't ever do that. The stairs right there. Yep. Am I underneath her? I'm underneath her. Anyway, the ponies are good. They're they're surviving. Oh. We are still taking Wait. care of them. Still spending time. Whoa. Still spending time with them. Right, Willow? It rained last night oh. before we went to bed. It just poured down. It is rain season on the day by day. Molly. Thanks, Molly. Thanks for alerting us to the fact that the kitten is not where she's supposed to be. There we go. I know, they've been sneaking out outside. I phoned the vet, I phoned so many vets. Guess when we get to get our cats neutered? Six months. Six months. They wanted to do Molly, it's fine. They wanted to do Molly at five months, but they have to do the cats at six months. Doesn't make sense to me. All right. Put her away and let's go. We're gonna go get. Out there too. We gotta go get chicken food. 
Chicken food for their baby. I don't know if she's gonna make it, Sophie. Hope she is. She's really tiny. We'll be back, Gracie, and just wait. You're gonna have some adventures yourself you? in the next couple of days, maybe. Oh, what are those? Are those pork? Oh my God. <gasps> oh, how do I not notice this stuff? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, tell your daddy to come down here. How did your dad feed them and not notice? <sighs> She's got porcupine quills in her. I'm gonna have to go up to the house and get tweezers. How did you feed her this morning and not notice that she got caught by a porcupine? I didn't notice it. Can you go upstairs in the bathroom and get the tweezers? Yeah. And then, thanks. Literally, we just brought that cat inside and put her back in the tack room. Your Gabby came to the rescue. Did you grab the tweezers from dad? Oh. I had to find them. Oh, good job. I wondered if he'd be able to find them. I don't know if it's just us, but in our family, the men and the boys don't seem to be able to find things as easily. Look at how calm she is, though. She, she, was, she was following me, saying, like, I need your help. I need your help. This horse tells you. I feel like they all tell you. You just have to learn to listen, which I wasn't listening. Sophie found it. Sophie finds every... Oh, good. Oh, they are sharp. Oh, good girl. Okay, just wait. We need a little box or a bag, Sophie. We need to put these somewhere. Well, I don't know where to go. Go in the tack room and just get me a little bag or a little Kleenex. Oh, that one's deep. We need stronger things to get it out. Go away. Oh, my God. Did you get them too? No. She probably stared the porcupine in the face and he ran scared. Thank you. Stand close to Gabby. So sharp. We'll hold her. You're okay. Look, it's they're coming out, my love. Oh, that one's deep. Yeah. You have to pull it straight out, no twisting. I'm not twisting it. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, do the other ones first, and we'll get the, the hard ones after. Mm, they're sharp. Oh, good, good girl. girl. What a princess. Grab treats. We'll yeah. Mm -hmm. All of our treats are at the barn. Oh, I need to go get new treats too. Wait. Do you not know not to stay away from animals that are not your breed? It's okay. Oh, goodness Ooh, sake. Uh, I know, I know. Good ponies. You're okay. Take a little break. Sometimes you need a break when you're dealing with face stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little sick for her. Like imagine you know that feeling when you like pluck your hair out or like and it's in a sensitive area and then the no. nose. Willow probably ran away. No, Willow probably came and trampled it. We should go look out the back and see if there's a dead porcupine. No, I thought they were going to be bigger. You thought they were going to be bigger? It's maybe a baby porcupine? Blue. All right. Do you want to put her in the cross ties or in the stall? All right. Let her be near her friend. Oh, her that one is bleeding, that's why. Sometimes they do bleed a little. I wouldn't let anyone pick those off. Good girl. <laughs> I would pick them off myself. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Gracie. You had a rough time this oh, year, huh? Didn't oh, yeah, we know. Gotcha. Just take a little break for a second cause, and give it a little rub. Sometimes what the heck is happening there? She's shedding. Because shedding I can handle. Porcupine quails, not so much. Hey, we're almost done. Well, did we just step on porcupines? For no, we're not almost done. Well, you don't tell a patient you're well, Gabby. What if you were a nurse or a doctor? Oh, I know this hurts, but we got a long way to go. Don't get excited, it's not finished yet. It's gonna hurt a lot more for a lot longer. You tell it's oh, really deep. Oh, dear, we it's go, boy, please. Good girl. You're, yeah, it's gonna be sore. We'll clean it. Oh, it's okay. I'm I'm now the master out at finding things. Well, you're lucky. What are you like what an eventful day. I hope this is all the events coming out here at our house. The birth the chick birth and the and the porcupine quills, because I don't want any surprises at the new barn. Good job. She's got more. Two more. It's okay. You're okay. Good girl. So it's the last one, the hard one? Yeah, because it's yeah, like it's really in there. 
Yeah, I see it's got a little swelling. What are you going to do? You going to use the You see the white tip? That's yeah. what's showing. Yeah. Do you want to use the tweezers? I think that's better. Right. She got them all out. Let's double Wait, check her body. Them. No, why don't we leave those down at the barn because no. if there's one porcupine, there's probably two. Hope you no, learned I your think lesson. I a porcupine from last year. I don't know. I haven't seen a porcupine ever. Uh, we actually have lessons tonight, so we're going to be going twice today, which I really which I really like. We'll be able to tuck them into bed tonight and see how that kind of goes with them and I just like being there to give them some comfort. Mostly we just need to change Storm's dressing and then also I've got another bell boot for Chino so at least we can put that in. We want to take them for a quick walk around and show them where they can go, where there are no other horses, where the hay bale is and where there's another nice shelter for them. So we're going to take you guys along with us. Oh, also I wanted to tell you that this is three things in two days. Things happen in threes. So this better be it. We better not find any new surprises when we get to the barn. Our new chicken is gonna die. We're gonna do our best to try and save it, but it it probably is a birth defect. I asked all the experts and I researched it, and um, he can't even stand up and hold his head up, so chances are it's just not gonna work out for him. And then the porcupine quills and then Storm's legs, so that's three, you guys. Three, the order of three, nothing else better happen. Looky, 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 who found the shelter and the hay and the grass. I'm gonna text the owner and uh, tell him that I'm taking off their halters today. I know a lot of you guys were worried about it. I got so many messages, like holy heck. So it was our plan to take them for a walk and show them exactly that spot that where all the horses weren't hanging out and show them where they could go, but they already found it. Anyway, so we're walking through the paddock and the girls are calling them. We got them carrots too. It rained last night, you guys. So there's all the horses. They're all in the woods there. You can't see them. They're all hanging out in the woods. All right, so there's the hay bale. There's another hay bale underneath. The and there's another hay bale underneath the uh, shelter. And look at the shelter. I like that kind of shelter. It reminds me of the Star Stable shelters. Doesn't it to you? You mean Schleich? Oh, the Sh Schleich ones. I like it because they can all go under there and be dry. Hello! <laughs> they hear it us. It's us. We're here. And then there's another shelter. So Storm has this pick of shelters. Aww. Honey! They're sticking together. They Does Storm care. still have on his dressing? Yeah. No. Yeah, and he's still limping. Oh, yeah. Champion! Honey! I hope he's okay. They're following Storm, like they love Storm more than ever now. There's another hay net. Clearly, I should never have been worried about them not getting enough food. They figured it out. They figured out where to go. Hey, guys, look at that. Okay. Yeah. okay, we brought a bit more bell boots. He's got two shoes. It's Storm I'm worried about. He's got, he's got really expensive pads. All right. Nothing makes you feel better though than horses that when you finding your horse is happy. Like their feet had no mud on them. Their fin feet have no mud. Our horses are such picky horses. Uh, Storm has both shoes. So far, so good. Oh, I'm taking Storm. They always give me Storm. Storm's like the hardest horse. Um. Anyways, seeing like it'll be better when they're in with the herd. But at least they have some place to go. Yeah, like they have some place to go. That makes me happy. I definitely feel happy here today. What a happy day, even though we've already dealt with so many disasters. All right, so we just brought them in, even though they're much, they're happy now. They they haven't quite settled in with the herd, I don't think. Yes, I know, I have apple smell. Um, but they're happy and that's all that I care about. That's all that I care about. We got Finney, Chino's in his stall. He's still looking a little confused. They get lots of hay at night. You like it. Sometimes it's nice to just come and take care of your horse and love on them, give them treats, yeah. Although, to be honest, they might not need too many treats. After all the hay that we saw, they're fed really well here. Um, so basically I have this kind of wound compress. It's really thin. Ah, oh, that's a sponge. I have this, it's super thin. And then I have this pad, and I think I'm gonna put this on just to give it a couple more days to Heal better and then I've got everything else I need here. So that is it today looking way worse. Sometimes it looks worse before it looks better. He definitely 
does not like the bugs on it. Definitely hurting you, huh? He's looking at me, looking at it, saying, help me. All right, all right, so there he is. Thanks to Danny the horse girl. Do you guys know Danny the horse girl? She came to visit us a while ago, a year and a half ago, and she brought us a beautiful present and it included some amazing vet wrap. Which I don't know if it's gonna stay. I'm worried that, like Gabby did it this time, and I'm worried it's a bit tight. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I talked to the owner and he said absolutely take the halters off that they've been dream ponies. So I'll come in when they're supposed to come at night. They want to come in and have their supper. Like literally I've never felt so much love. I mean all the places that we've been have been really kind and really nice. This place is it, it's just so kind. Like I can't even get over it. Alright, so I don't feel bad. We're coming back in a couple hours. You're not getting ridden. I'm sorry to tell you. I'll get Brandon to check his dressing and see if he thinks it's okay. But he has a little bit of padding on there now. I'm gonna pack away all my stuff. Another thing, the man that owns this place and takes care of our horses gives all the horses a carrot every single morning. Every single morning they all get one. It gets super expensive, I'm sure. But he gives them all a carrot before he puts them outside in the morning. Isn't that amazing? Like, that's just so kind. Like, I don't know. It's hard to have your horses somewhere that you aren't. But if it has to happen, then feeling good and feeling amazing where you are is so important. Anyway, that is it for today's video, you guys. Stormy and I are signing out. Don't forget, you're amazing. You're beautiful just the way you are. Don't have to change for anybody. Go out there and find the people that already know that you're as beautiful as you are. Uh, we will be back at it with more videos tonight. Uh, we have lessons here with Brandon and we actually have one of the girls who's gonna ride in our lesson with us, one of the girls from yesterday. If you didn't see on Gabby's channel, um, she posted a video of her trail ride uh, with the new, with, there's two other teenagers at this barn and her and Kaylee went out with them. And you can check that out on Always Gabby, Gabby's channel, Always Gabby. And so we'll be doing that and guys, this is the last time there will be a daily vlog without you guys meeting my new horse or possibly my new horse. Like, it's time you guys. It's time for me to go and meet my new horse now. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Cause I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby
Don't you know that you're beautiful? 